for more great videos and learning tutorials, or to download the exercises that go with these videos, please visit our website at www.createthenet.com. That was www.createthenet.com. Welcome to our video tutorial series on Adobe Dreamweaver CS5. And in this video, I want to show you how to do something fairly simple, but something you will have to do, and that's how to set up other browsers inside of Dreamweaver. Now, by default, when you install Dreamweaver CS5, if you have any browsers, and you obviously will have at least one browser installed, they'll automatically be set up for you. In my case, I had both Internet Explorer 8 and Firefox installed when I set up Dreamweaver. So when I go to the File menu and select Preview in Browser, you're going to see that both of those browsers have profiles set up already. And because Firefox is my default browser, it's listed first. But I've installed Google Chrome, and I want Chrome to be an option on this list. So I'm going to go ahead and select Edit Browser List here. And what this dialog box will allow you to do is edit your browser list. You can edit existing browsers if you want. For example, I can click here on Internet Explorer and click Edit, and I can change the name of it to Internet Explorer. and then click OK. And I can remove browsers if I want, and I can also click the plus sign to add a browser. And that's what I'm actually going to do. So when I click that plus sign to add a browser, I'm going to come back to this dialog box. I'm going to type the name of the browser, which in this case is going to be Google Chrome. And then you have to go tell Internet, or you have to tell Dreamweaver where that is. So I'm going to go ahead and click Browse, and it's going to drop me in my program files folder. Now, any other browser that you've installed is going to be installed in program files. Internet Explorer is here. Mozilla Firefox is here. If you had installed Opera, it would be here. The only browser that you might want to install that isn't here is Google Chrome. So the question is, where is it? If I come here to my URL bar, or my address bar up here at the top. You're going to see the very most left icon has a drop down arrow. When I click on that, underneath desktop, you're going to have a variety of things, including your profile name. So I'm going to select my profile name. And that's going to bring me here. Now the folder that you're looking for here is actually the app data folder. And unfortunately, you won't see it here because it's hidden by default. But that's not a problem. I'm going to actually click Cancel here. And I'm going to open up another folder window. I've just opened up Internet Explorer. And then I'm going to click the drop-down arrow here and select the profile name. Now, to show hidden folders, what you're going to do is you're going to click the Organize button and select the Folder and Search options. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and click on View, and there's an option here to show hidden files, folders, and drives. And that's what I want to do. I'd also, if I was here, uncheck Hide Extensions for Known File Types, because when you're doing web design work, you're going to want to see all the different file extensions. So I'm going to uncheck that. So I checked Show Hidden Files, and I unchecked Hide File Extensions. Then I'm going to click OK. And now you're going to see that app data folder appears there. So let's go back into Dreamweaver here. Click back in Applications and on Browse. Go back to this first folder and select your profile name. Now there's app data. So I'm going to go into app data. Then I'm going to go into the folder called local. Once I'm in local, I'm going to go into the folder called Google. Once I'm in Google, I'm going to go into the folder called Chrome. And finally, I'm going to go into the folder called Application. And there is the Chrome browser. So I select that and click Open. So I've said the name of my new browser is Google Chrome. And here is the path 
to get to that browser. And I'm going to set this up as my secondary browser. And then click OK. And you're going to see Google Chrome is listed there. The only thing setting something up as a default secondary browser is it automatically makes the keyboard shortcut Control plus F12 to preview it. I'll go ahead and click OK there. And now when I want to preview my web page inside of any browser, I simply go to File, Preview in Browser, and there's Firefox, Google Chrome, and Internet Explorer. I'll go ahead and click on Chrome, and there's the Chrome browser, and there is the preview of my web page. Also, if you're interested in seeing the high definition 1280 by 720 videos, please go to createthenet.com. When we upload these videos to video sharing services, they always shrink the video size down and decrease the quality so they come out a little bit fuzzy. If you go to the uh, website, you can see the full resolution versions of these videos.